Okay, once again, this is a series. There should be an annotation on the screen that will bring you to the full playlist of the said series. Um, so, so far we've been working with this file, this text file. Uh, today we're going to look at another file that I created, uh, just to simplify stuff, but we'll get into the original file uh, in just a little bit. But if I get out this, you can see it's just very basic, all lowercase words. Uh, and if I use said uh, in this way, uh, and I'm pasting that because I'll type it wrong and I don't have notes in front of me. Um, okay, so what this is saying here is we're going to use said, we're going to substitute the first word in the line with, well, in this case, nothing. Essentially moving, removing the first word. We'll hit enter there and you can see, oh, that's the wrong file. <laughs> Two, you can see that we removed uh, the first word. So once again, if we cut out text two, Let's uh, clear the screen first, text two, and then we run our said command. You can see that instead of this is that, we have is that. Instead of one, two, three, we have two, three, four, five, six, we have five, six. So basically we're saying this backslash W with the asterisk is saying uh, find the first word, and the period saying remove the space as well. So actually if we run that again without the period, I'm pretty sure, yeah, same thing, it just didn't remove the space, the period saying remove the space as well, because if you're removing the first word, might as well remove the space. Um, so that's great, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's interesting. We can also do uh, the last uh, word on the line, uh, which I'm growing off memory here and I really should have wrote this down. It's either period, dollar sign, or dollar sign. Let's see. Okay, it's dollar sign. Uh, so if we say said, substitute, the backslash w asterisk for word. I'm assuming that what it's mean. It's hard to find documentation on that. It's not inside the man file. Although there's other ways you can type this out, but this is the s shortest I could find. And then this means end of line. So we're saying find the end of the line, find the word at the end of the line, and replace it in this case with nothing. We could replace the last word of every line with Bob. So there, you know, or we could do the first word in every line like so. Now uh, the reason that I create this other file for you as opposed to our original file because if we were to uh, do the same thing and try to remove the last line or last word of each line uh, or the first word of each line uh, with our original file it's not going to work quite right. So we're going to do this and you can see let me cut out our original file here. So the original file is 10 tiny toes and then up here you can see it says 10 tiny toes. Now the second line says this is that and did remove the that. And then we have five funny zero and it did remove the zero. Uh, and then we have uh, one kind of two, three, but it didn't remove the three. And I'm sure you're already seeing why. Uh, and we have two, or uh, tree twice and twice is gone and nothing's removed on that line. Uh, and the reason is because here it's looking for words and these have special characters at the end so it's not finding a word basically uh, an alphanumeric because you can see it did remove the number uh, the zero that was here so basically it's looking for a word that is alphanumeric at the end of the line and since there's punctuation at the end of these lines uh, it did not work. So your next question might be, well, how do I remove <laughs> those uh, words that do have punctuation or special characters at the end? And my answer is, I don't know. I don't know at this point, um, but uh, hopefully I'll figure that out and have that in a future video. But for now, we have a quick look here at finding the word at the beginning of the line right here at a period if you want to remove the space as well, or the end of the line. So, again, I hope you find these tutorials useful. I hope you're enjoying these said tutorials. Said is a very powerful tool when it comes to manipulating text, um, and uh, especially when it comes to substitution, which is what we're using for it mostly in these tutorials, but we'll get into some other stuff in the future. Please visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Should be a link in the description, annotation on the screen to the playlist if you're not already watching the playlist. Uh, be back in a week for next week's video on said. That is if you... 
if you're watching this on the day I put it out, obviously, if it's more than a week later, that video is already up. And if you're watching the playlist, you should see that. Uh, I thank you for watching. And once again, have a great day.